Hey guys, welcome back to Benosa Esther Malka's channel. If you've been with me the past few weeks, this series was dedicated to phonics, to reading, to spelling, and if you follow these steps, your kids should be amazing readers, writers, and spellers. But to finish off this series, you taught your kids phonics, and they can sound out words, they can spell, but the question is, what next? Now, I'm gonna tell you what next is really two things. Number one is you the parent, model good behavior, and number two is board games, 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 and games. So start with number one. What is modeling good behavior? And I'll be perfectly honest, modeling good behavior means whatever you want your child to do, you gotta do it too. You want your child to keep a journal? You gotta keep that journal. You want your child to love reading? Well, there's a few ways to do that. And number one is, of course, you have to read yourself. Because if you're not reading, the likelihood of your children loving to read is not very likely. Read yourself, read to your kids, and for kids who are a little bit on the iffy side of reading, well, here's the best thing you could do. Read a page, have them read a page. You read a page, have them read a page. Again, you're making it fun. So step one is you have to be the models of good behavior. Like if you agree, because if you're not, who do they have to look up to? And the last, I'm gonna give you guys a whole bunch of games that I think you will enjoy. The games I generally fit into kind of two categories. The first one is really simple, it's rhyming games, because language revolves around rhymes. If the kids hear it, they are more likely to follow along with you. So my favorite games are, we have over here, Rhymed Out. It's kind of this guessing clue puzzle type of game and the kids hear the rhyme and they go along with it. Thumbs up, links below. So it's kind of guessing game and rhymes. Totally love this game. Another game we like, oops, is this one over here, Be Rhymed. And again, it's just this fun little rhyming game. You have cards, you follow along and you know, there's always a winner. And what kind of kid doesn't want bragging rights? So love this game. Now, rhyming is fun, but again, we wanna keep up with the phonics. I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of games here. And I wanna just kind of reassure you <laughs> that all of these games are similar. You do not need to go out and purchase all of these games. And let me tell you, the games that I'm gonna show you now is only some of our collection, but they all kind of work on the same thing. So in order to not bore your child, my real tip to you is going to be pick up two of these games, go to your thrift shop, see what they have, ask a neighbor if they have an extra one. And like I said, all you really need is two of these games, but I'm gonna show you. Um, Candygrams, it's again, a word game and the kids, Everyone starts off with one of each color and they have to make words based on their colors. There's a few rules, but again, it's a word game based on colors. So kind of simple, kind of fun. And the next game, I actually think this is a lot of fun. It's called Upwards. It is a staple game um, and you can play it. It's like Scrabble, but they kind of build up on the letters and it's puzzles and really, really fun things. And another thing that I like, especially in the beginning phonics, is that the kids can start off with letters and just build up for themselves and see the words come to life. So this is a fun game and it's a grow with me. Like I said, start off with phonics, grow with the kids. Another game I found is Nabbit. And it's kind of like a puzzle game. You know, you have the puzzle pieces, they put it together, they make words, there's points involved, and of course, a winner. And last but not least are the two staple games. I grew up with it. These are travel size, they're kind of cute, but you guys know them, Scrabble and Boggle. If you have any questions or a suggestion of any other series, well then, don't forget to check out the links below. I'm going to leave a link to our Instagram channel and feel free to head over on Instagram and let me know what other series you want. I had tons of fun with you guys learning how to read, write, and spell. That is my personal favorite topic, and I want to know what series you want to see next because I have so many ideas of mine, but you guys are the most important. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you like this series, give it a thumbs up, and I'll know, and 
We'll definitely create more series to help your kids have fun learning. Thank you guys so much for stopping by.